Okay, so today, as you can see, I will be cooking another dish, but actually, I'm not going to be cooking. I'm going to invite uh, my husband. He'll be my guest chef for the day, and he'll be the one doing all the cooking today. And so, I will hand this over to him. Bonjour! Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to try cooking today. Uh, I'm not really a cook, but uh, since uh, we have this uh, Thermomix, then uh, I started cooking and I can cook now. So I'm going to make today uh, some uh, fish with potatoes and beurre blanc. What is beurre blanc? Beurre blanc, uh, translated, it means uh, white butter. Why did you choose this dish? Uh, because it's a dish that is from my region, where I come from. Uh, when I was a kid, I did not mm. like fish, but uh, with this sauce, I didn't care about the fish. The sauce is so nice that uh, the fish becomes very nice as well. Okay. Right? So I'm going to cook the fish first and the potatoes. It's cooked together. Uh, so, very simple. I start by putting some water in the bowl. Uh, I'm going to put 500 grams of water. Because I'm going to steam the potatoes and the fish. Then I put my basket full of potatoes. Right? There's uh, 700 grams of potatoes in there. Just put it there, okay? Close everything, right? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I'm going to uh, put the fish, right? So my fish uh, is a white fish, even though it's called in English a uh, red grouper, mm -hmm. right? So I put my fish on top here in the Varoma to steam. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on top of the fish. Just a little bit like this, okay? Uh, and then a little bit of salt. So what salt is this? It's, uh, we call it gros sel. So it's what? Big salt? <laughs> How do you call that? <laughs> rock salt. Is oh, salt. rock salt. Okay, rock salt. Yeah. Actually, I have no idea why I'm doing this. I just follow the recipe. That's how I cook. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. If you can read, you can cook. <laughs> yes. Okay? I yeah. just follow instructions. Uh, so then I'm supposed to do 25 minutes here. 25 minutes. Uh, 120 degrees, okay, and speed one. And that's it. It's going to cook for like 25 minutes, and uh, now I can just do nothing. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we come back in 25 minutes. See you later. Okay, so it's about to be cooked. That's it. Okay, so I take out everything. Go, put the fish on top. So my fish is ready. Then the potatoes, I will take them out as well. Okay, and that's good. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I will just uh, pour the water here away. And since we have two bowls, I'm going to use another bowl. Then it's faster. Right. So now I'm going to cook the beurre blanc, the sauce, right? So I just follow the instructions on the screen. It works like a computer. You know, it's, uh, I, I always call this machine like a computer that cooks for you. Right, so uh, start cooking. 60 grams of shallots. Right, so shallots. 60 grams, okay. Next, insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl. Okay, next, three seconds, speed seven. All right. That's it. Next, scrape the side of the mixing bowl. Scrape. Scrape the side. Okay, okay, okay. And my English teacher there. <laughs> scrape the side. All right. Mm. You cry? Yeah, it's okay. Ooh. It's okay, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Do you tissue? Yes, I do. <laughs> Next. Okay, insert the measuring cup. Next. Same thing, speed seven. Okay, one more time. Okay. Next. Again, scrap. So I'm not going to close this line. Scrape. Scrape. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not learning my lesson. Sorry. Scrape. I hate to nag. Yeah, but you know, English is difficult. 
Go ahead and eat at the end of the meal. Okay, good. Okay. Then 30 grams of white wine vinegar. Okay. 30 grams of white wine vinegar. Right. Next. 50 grams of dry white wine. Okay. French cooking, you need wine. Okay. Next. Insert the mirroring cup into the this. Okay, next. Six minutes and then uh, 100 degrees and speed two. Right, so now it's cooking for six minutes. It's cooking the shallots, right? Yes. In the wine and the vinegar. That's right, that's okay. right. So, so um, I think as you can see, he really follows the instructions to a tea. So as I always tell people who come for my tastings and my demonstration, if you can read, you can cook, okay? So, um, let me ask you, why did, why did you decide to do this dish for uh, sure? Well, because this is a French dish, typically from my region, right? And today is a French National Day. So okay. I thought, you know, nice to, you know, I miss home sometimes, and especially on days like this, right? Uh, so I cook something which is from my region. Uh, I live in the western part of France uh, mm -hmm. when I was a child. Um, and then my mom used to make this quite uh, not too often because it's very rich, right? But on special occasion, we'll have this because it's very nice. We all love it. Uh, but I remember my mom was struggling sometimes because it's not easy to make. You know, you have to. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, she always say like, "Don't disturb me! Don't disturb me!" When she was doing this sauce, you know, because like it, it was uh, there was some moment we could not approach what was going on, right? Yeah. So I, I guess with this is a lot easier. We'll see. We'll see if it works. It's the first time I'm doing this, by the way. Yeah. So um, I'm not too sure. Uh, the smoke coming out is not going to explode, right? No, okay. Not. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, today is French National Day. Uh, in English, you call it Bastille Day. Bastille refers to a place in Paris, which was La Bastille, which was a jail. Uh, and then uh, it refers to 14 July 1789, mm -hmm. uh, so more than 200 years ago. Okay. Uh, so why is this date important to us? Uh, you know, sometimes my students ask me, is it because you became independent? You know, I said no, it's not that. Um, it's because on that day, uh, well, the people of Paris, they stormed the Bastille, the prison, and then they freed the prisoners, mm -hmm. and then they went to get some gunpowders, because there was a storage of gunpowders there. They seized the powder, and then they started the French Revolution, because they had a bit of uh, mm -hmm. ammunition, right? Um, why? Because, well, they were very poor, and then the king and all his entourage was very rich. There was a big gap between the rich and the poor. There was a lot of social unrest, right? Um, but it was a big change for France, because we went from uh, kingdom to a republic, from some kind of dictatorship to a democracy, right? So we changed uh, you know, the whole system, political system. Right. But not only that, uh, also the ideas have changed, you know, uh, the way we look at uh, human beings, for example. Okay. Uh, all this was prepared with the philosophers of the 18th centuries, uh, people like uh, Rousseau, Voltaire, Montesquieu, mm -hmm. because they started to say that, you know, all men are born equal, regardless of sex, of race, of uh, uh, social status, right? So. Uh, it led to the French Revolution, where we wrote the first Human Rights Charter. Oh, right? okay. Now if you look at the UN Human Rights Charter and you compare it to the one what, that was written during the French Revolution, uh, you will see that actually they copied on it. It's very similar. So the UN, the U United Nations uh, Human Human Rights Charter is yeah. very similar to the French one, correct. which was written like, like 200, 200 years, years ago. Yes, okay. correct. Uh, so that's a lot of changes that, was, that were brought by this okay. French Revolution. So that's why it's so important to us, right? Okay. It brings ideas of like freedom, equality, and brotherhood, which is the you know the motto. If you go to a French uh, uh, official buildings in France, it's written there: liberté, égalité, fraternité, uh, which is freedom, uh, equality, mm -hmm. and brotherhood. Okay. Right. So those are strong values uh, that we get from that French Revolution. Right? Did you all used to eat this at, on National Day? On uh, no, no, not really. No, no. I mean, uh, it's, it's a dish we eat on special occasions, but National Day, no, it's nothing very different. Uh, on National Day, what do we do? Um, 
there is you sometimes we watch TV in the morning, you know, like the military parade, you know, on the Champs Elysees in Paris. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, then in the evening, there's usually a party. Oh. We go dancing, you know, some ball. Uh, every small village will have uh, like a you know a ball. Everybody will gather in front of the village square, on the village square, and then there will be a band playing. Okay. Uh, in bigger cities, it will be a bigger thing, a bigger thing. Uh, then we would go for the firework. Ah. So in small, small villages like my village, there was no fireworks too small. So we would go to the nearest, biggest town who organized the fireworks. Okay. And then we'll go as a family, that would be fun. Oh, nice. And that's about it. You know, it's just a, a day of fun in a family. We go dancing, we watch a firework. Okay, nice. so yeah. not necessarily this dish. Then. No, 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 no. Okay. Do you use garupa for this one? Yeah. What kind of fish do you normally use in France? Because you can't find them. Uh, well, uh, I live by the river. Is the Loire River, mm -hmm. you know? So we use uh, river fish. Uh, the most common one with this is called brochet. Ah, okay. Right. So brochet is a carnivorous fish. Mm -hmm. It can be very long, very nice. Ah, so uh, brochet, brochet in English is the pike. Yeah, brochet is the yeah. pike. There's usually no bones, you know, so it's very nice. Oh. Uh, another fish we can use is called the cendre. Okay. Which is also from the river. Yeah, so song, I think it's known as the pike perch or it's also known as the zander. I'm not too sure how accurate zander is, but it's yeah, it's a white fish. Yeah, white river fish. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, I, I, I used to fish those fish, you know, last time. So, uh, but when you can catch one of those fish, it's like your know, <laughs> catch of the day. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's done. Next. Remove mixing bowl lid and leave the mixture to cool down to 60 degrees. Okay, so we have to remove this and let it cool down to 60 degrees. Okay. Right? So, so that, uh, it says approximately 5 minutes. So this yeah. one, okay. So this one, because he's never, he, he doesn't really know how to use this one. So, right. well, okay. I'm just going to show you a little trick here. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, okay. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. So, if you look at the, you know, all Thermomix recipes are always time, temperature and speed. So at this point in time, you've got two numbers on your middle dial, the middle circle in the middle. Uh, you've got the one that's a bigger number, that's 60, that's the one I want. And there's a number on top of that, which is a little bit smaller and it's at this point in time, it's 95. So that's the temperature that's inside the bowl. I'm going to wait for that to drop down to 60, which was sit about approximately 5 minutes. I think it depends on where you are, how cold the weather is on that day. And so we will see you in about 5 minutes time, I guess. Okay. Yeah? Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now it's down to 60 degrees, right? So I press next. Add cubes of reserved chill butter through the hole of mixing bowl. Okay, so I need to put this. Okay. Uh, so okay. okay, so it's two and a half minutes, 60 degrees. Yeah. Then I'm going to turn this to speed two. Right. Then slowly I bring this into the mixing bowl. Yeah. Okay. So I have two minutes to do that, right? You have, yeah, you've got two minutes. Okay, so bit by bit. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, salted butter. In my region, we only eat salted butter. If there's no salt in the butter, it's not butter. <laughs> okay, I don't need this. One by one? Yes, one by one. So this is actually a lot easier to do than if you had to do it on the stove and watch, you know, and watch how it goes. You also have to add it bit by bit and whisk it along, whisk it as you go along the way. And uh, on top of that, if it splits, you've got to throw the whole batch out. So you can't get, you can't, you have to keep your eye on it. You really cannot, um, you know, look away for just a couple of seconds. Right? Okay. You can go a little bit faster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not so fast, but just a little bit faster. Okay. You just forget how it goes inside. You've got a minute left. A minute left. Okay. Yes. So. Fine. Can see it's melting there. Oh. It smells nice. Butter. I can get the smell already. Okay. Yeah. So in um, because we didn't use really like the proper shallots, we just use like the small. Sh 
what we call shallots here in Singapore, the small red onions. I will use those. So in France, they use the proper shallots, the bigger ones, and live longer, yeah. right? Um, Should be the same, right? Well, we can't get those here, so, you know. No choice. Yeah. And I've tried it with these before, I've tried. I've done this recipe before a long time ago, a few times actually. And I remember I would have to soak my, I, I used to, the recipe I had, I had to soak my shallots overnight in, I think, in vinegar or, or red wine, or wine as well. I can't remember which one, but I remember I had to soak it overnight. And then I'll be so, if, for example, the next day if I did something and if it split, I'll be so upset because I had spent the night before soaking everything and if it didn't turn out, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Okay, next. Okay, then it's 3 minutes, 60 degrees, and speed 3. Yeah. Okay. So, is this your favorite sauce, or you like water oh, yeah, hollandaise, I mean, or vietnamese? For, for or? fish, yes. For fish is my favorite sauce. Okay. Uh, remember also, we had it for our wedding, right? Yes, yes, yeah. we did. We had it for our wedding. Absolutely. And I remember somebody who wanted to have more servings. <laughs> And could not stop eating this one. <laughs> <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, so we have this. Uh, this is traditionally served at many weddings as well. Um, so we had this for our wedding. And I remember um, we had, you know, the a French wedding lasts the whole day. So ours was a lunch and it was like so many courses. Uh, there's a lot of entertainment throughout the wedding as well. And uh, I remember when they came to me, we had like a second, a second helping of fish because I really love the fish. And then when they came, you know, they kept going around, would you like some more, would you like some more? And then the third time, the waitress came to me and I said, I just want the sauce. And she looked at me like, what? I said, yeah, yeah, I just want the sauce. I don't eat the fish, I just want the sauce and I'm going to soak it up with the, with the baguette. That's all, with the French bread. And so, that's what we do. So we just uh, eat this. <laughs> we love the sauce so much. And I actually have already uh, prepared the fish. Yeah. So that was the fish. Uh, so the fish is very plain. Uh, the potatoes are also very uh, bland. Uh, just yeah. they're just steamed, right? So why is this so? Why why is everything so? Uh, well, because the, the main thing is the sauce, right? So I mean the sauce, the taste of the sauce is so nice that if you have any other things that taste too strong, it will not work, you know. So this must be not too tasty, right? I mean it must be just simple. Steam is perfect. And then the sauce will bring the whole flavor to it. Okay, so right. the sauce is like the pièce de résistance. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right, so, yeah. okay. And then, I mean, some of you might say, but are there any vegetables? So what happens usually in a French meal, the salad comes right at the end. Uh, so we will have a very simple salad made with a homemade dressing. I always have a bottle in my fridge that I just make. We make it with mustard, uh, mustard, salt and pepper, olive oil and uh, vinegar. Yeah, red wine vinegar. That's what we use, or balsamic, but usually I use great wine vinegar. Yeah, because I mean, in the French meal, you will have, you know, the starter, then the main meal, then uh, cheese, salad, dessert, right? Yes. So you will have vegetables somewhere, anyway. Yes. Sometimes it can be the starter. Yes, well. that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's see if there's anything else to do. Next. Transfer into serving jar and serve immediately. Okay, that's it. That's done. Woohoo! Finish. So, let's see. Mmm, looks nice. Okay. So, I just pour a little bit on top. Oh, it smells so good. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Control yourself, yeah, and I can see him all eager. Okay, come here. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. And that's it. And that's it. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, bien sûr. <laughs>